So let's see how we create an ambient occlusion pass here in 3ds Max using Arnold. So I have a teapot and a plane. And uh, I'm going to start with the active shade mode, then I do with the production rendering. So the ambient occlusion pass here with Arnold, it's using AOVs. So we have to add an AOV file and we're going to use a custom. I'm going to name it AO for ambient occlusion. You can put any name you want here. Add to the list and then add the AOV to the file. So now with the AO uh, pass here, we need to add the shader the material. So for this, we need an in the Arnold and AOV right. So since it's an ambient occlusion file, I'm going to use a float. It's a black and white map. If you want to, to use some color, you can write an RGB. So I'm going with the float. And now I have to edit this material. So I'm going to open the slate material editor here and drag and drop here as an instance mm -hmm. and it's going to be an input I'm going to put here an R node um, <coughs> surface ambient occlusion and in this right I have to put the same name here a O same as I put there so it's pretty much done when I start my active shade I have here the RGBA and all my uh, AOVs here so if you wanna see and set up I have to like if you want to reduce the spread uh, I go to the ambient occlusion here and put something like one but we need to restart because it's an AOV, so now it's much smaller. And the active shade doesn't update the AOV file here, so I have to stop, start again. And if you want to save, you can save here. Uh, but if you want to go with the the final production render uh, I have to set again the AOV here so uh, have again add AO add lists and add the AOV so drag and drop here instance and when we render with the, <coughs> the the production render, we don't have the AO pass here. So we need to save. The common tab. Let's add something. New tests. Something like that. And now when I render I render my final image here, it will save the AO pass in the same folder as an EXR file. So if I go to this uh, here's my AOV file here, pretty much the same. And if I want to see the ambient occlusion here, I have some options. Uh, we have in R node uh, the utility. We can use the mapped material, for instance. Oops. And Put the same here and apply it to your objects. 
and it will show up in the <clears throat> oh, I miss the teapot. And sign matured selection like this. So now I have this here. And if I want, this is something from the recent 3ds Max that we can use the active shade here. So we can see the how it goes. So that's how we create an image occlusion pass using Arnold in 3ds Max.